Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a tarot reading for Lexi Peterson. She was reportedly seen alive on December the 24, 2002. She was pregnant at the time of her missing and on April the 13th, 2003, they found the unborn baby in the area of San Francisco Bay. And the day after that, they found her body. Not long after that, her husband was convicted of her murder, but some still believe that he was innocent. So I would like to do this tarot reading to see if he was the killer or if anybody else was involved in this murder. Let's see what we have. Son of Cups, Father of Pentacles, The Hangman, Door of Wands, Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, The Hangman, and the Death Card. Here the Father of Pentacles represent Scott Peterson's energy and this Son of Cups will represent the Unborn Sun energy. This one will be the Lacey's energy. For me, it's kind of clear that he was the killer. Nobody else was involved with the Shadow card of Ace of Cups here. I feel that he wanted to start a new relationship I believe he had a mistress at that time and that for him, his son would be in a way for him to start the new relationship and see how this Ace of Swords, the intention um, of killing the unborn son because of the Nine of Wands, which was for him is kind of like a burden kind of like something he had to get it over with and I don't feel that he felt any remorse after he did what he did because for him it's like he did this because he had to he doesn't want to consider divorcing Lacey because for him he would lose lots of money and he wouldn't want that because he won all the money for himself and to start the new relationship with the mistress. He is very selfish. I get the sense of him being narcissistic kind of person. Okay, so this whole thing really brings me to what happened after he murdered Lacey he was wrapping Lacey's body and um, it didn't take him long to think what's next he just keep on going and doing or it's kind of like I don't know if he plan this whole thing or it ever occurred to him and when it happened he knew exactly what to do next and this is kind of like uh, Lacey's body he wrapped Lacey's body and hang it and that the with the six of wands here is like the body has been dropped to the water area and he thought that he would get away with it. I would like to draw more cards to get to know more about this.
We have ten of wands, six of castles, three of pentacles, seven of castles, eight of swords, the fool, four of castles, the high priestess, and two of castles. Also three of castles as the shadow card. The ten of wands and the six of castles here for me represents how he moved her body and dropped it to the bay area. With the six of castles, it usually represents something from a childhood or inner peace or something from the past. So this could also mean because she was carrying a child or that this area specifically had some sentimental value to Scott. That's why he chose to drop her body there. This card shows me how he made that concrete that he used to weigh Lacey's body down the bay. Just see how this whole picture represents the bay area. I feel that this has the connection with this card, the Fork of Cases. This will be Scott during the search. He would watch the search um, and wait for it to see what the police recover. I think that he believed he could get away with it, but he would also want to know if the police find some evidence that will point to him. The Eight of Swords, um, High Priestess and the Two of Calices here. I think that these three represents Lacey's energy. I feel that she was feeling a bit stressed out during the pregnancy. I don't know how many months she was pregnant before before she got murdered, but it suggests that during her pre eight months pregnancy, Scott changed his behavior towards her, and that I think she was kind of blame herself and keep the feeling to herself. She didn't told anybody else how she really felt, and that I think the high priestess here is also telling me that she was kind of see it coming that Scott will do something to her or that Scott might leave her but she had a high hope that they would find the romance in their relationship after the baby is there I think that she thought the baby would help the relationship to get better and that's why she was ignoring her intuition and the three of cases here really i think it's representing scott's um, mistress that there's a third party and i also believe that during the marriage or maybe before they married scott was seeing another g girl behind her back I don't really remember how she died or I don't know if they show it in the report how she died but I believe that she was strangled or suffocating and I also believe with the divine order card here shows that the justice has been served and the compassion card here shows that there's a lack of compassion in the relationship I feel that Lacey was the one who fought for the relationship and had high hope that the relationship would work out in the end, that she missed all the signs around her about him. Um, with this being mentioned, I would also like to address to all the people out there who is in a relationship that is not serving them um, I would like to encourage you to 
get out of that relationship know that you deserve much better love than an unhealthy relationship don't be scared of being alone and learn to love yourself more so yeah that is all for me today about Lacey Peterson's case I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel like the video and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified for the next upload and also share your thoughts in the comment section below thank you and i'll see you in the next unsolved cases tarot reading